Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to fix the runtime error 217 in Windows. So this runtime error will typically occur when you try and open up an application. So while there could be a variety of issues causing this, such as an incomplete installation of the program to begin with, um, possible malware remnants creating an issue with your applications, as well as registry errors or further complications. This tutorial will hopefully resolve this error alert you might be getting. So we're going to start by right clicking on the start button and then the third option from the bottom you want to left click on run from this menu. Now you want to type in msconfig so msconfig c-o-n-f-i-g and then you want to hit on OK So now underneath the system configuration window, you want to navigate to the services tab on the top. It should be the middle tab listed here. Left click on where it says hide all Microsoft services. So click inside this box. Left click on disable all. So this will disable all non-Microsoft services. Click on apply and then OK you might receive a system configuration notice that you must restart your computer to save these changes. Left click on exit without restart for now. We're going to navigate over now to the taskbar at the bottom and you want to right click on it and then the third option from the bottom you want to left click on task manager. If your task manager view looks like this you want to left click on the more details button at the bottom left. And now you want to navigate to the startup tab at the top and now you want to disable any startup entries that are listed here by just left clicking on the name and then click on disable. So at this point you'd want to restart your computer and then you could just systematically re-enable startup programs as needed. I'd recommend keeping any antivirus or anti-malware startup services or startup programs enabled just for the protection of your computer. So just keep that in mind. And then like Windows suggested earlier, I'd recommend restarting your computer. And then hopefully you can pinpoint exactly what the error was stemming from. And that should be about it, guys. So I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out. And I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.